Hello and welcome to Tiger Bites. I'm Jay, this is Tim, and we're back on a Friday morning. They've been mocking my episode. accent. Yes, we have been mocking Tim's accent. As some of you know, he has an excellent Thai accent and pronunciation. It's, it's Palang Pracharat, not Palang Pracharat. Yes. And uh, how do you say uh, the, your favorite MP? What's his name again? Tamanat Prompao. No, 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 not Tamanat Prompao. The, the younger one. My favorite MP? Yeah. He's no longer oh, an MP. He's um, no longer an um, MP. Um, uh, 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 um, he's to, to, to start with the T as well. Ta, to give me a bit of a hint. Tana. Oh, um, I can't remember his name. <laughs> Ta, oh, Tanaton. Tanaton. So he keeps saying Tanaton, but it's Tanaton. 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 you got to get the little music in it, you know, a little beat. Why are we wearing the same shirts? We are wearing these beautiful shirts because actually they've been provided to us by Num. Num, who is the editor of the Thai Tiger YouTube channel. He's Num behind, behind this Can you come here, beautiful please? skyline. Is he wearing the same shirt as us? No, if he's, he's, not, he's got a different shirt. Oh, that would be awesome. He's if going he, to introduce Norm. He would be, yeah. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Norm, don't say anything naughty. We yeah. just want to show you a shirt. Come and show, show your shirt. So, Norm. Uh, is he in the frame or do you have to duck, duck down a bit? Oh, everything is fine, there you go. Okay. So Num's family are making these amazing shirts. So uh, we're going to be talking about our 90% commission soon. Okay? I don't have to talk. No, you don't have to talk. <laughs> you never talk anyway. Just a little bit. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> that was Num <laughs> with one of his family's shirts. He's an amazing guy. He's, so, he's a rock star. Num runs a, uh, a sweatshop uh, somewhere up in northern with all these Burmese refugees. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I don't know. No, I'm just, it's a family business. And good luck be, to them. They're beautiful yeah. shirts. Beautiful shirts. Really comfortable, really airy, perfect for the Thai weather. So, yeah, thank you to Nim for providing us with these shirts. And hopefully in the future, hey, Tiger merchandising, Maybe. if you like them. I also want to say some people have said, why don't you talk about the news on Tiger Bites? Well, this is not a news show because this is where we get to address your comments, your feedbacks and stories and whatever we really want to talk about uh, from our shows on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram and the Tiger Talk Forum on the website. So well, we're responding to your comments. So this is not a new show. This is like a reaction to the new show. Yeah. If you'd like to watch the new show, you can watch Thailand News Today. It goes live at 6 p.m. every day. I will put a link here on my right uh, to Thailand News Today from yesterday, as well as the t uh, Thailand Top Stories with our new presenter, Natty. Not so new anymore. Not, she, no, I she's mean, old yeah, face. Just I see a, her face every day. Another tiger relic she's these She's getting days. more views than us. How dare she? <laughs> yes. We cannot let this stand. She's finished. She's done. Uh, we also are going to announce next week uh, video comments. In other words, we're going to get you to speak on your phone. You can go, well, Jay and Tim, I don't think da 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 da, and you can whinge for up to twenty seconds. That's right. And send it to us, and we'll play you, and then respond to it. That's right. Put your face where your mouth is. Exactly. So, uh, and we'll try. We'll favour video comments. So that's starting next week. We're just working out um, how it's going to work. We're yeah, we're going to. We're basically uh, as of right now, the plan is we're going to create uh, an email dedicated just for you, where you can send in your video. So if you could just, you could just take your iPhone or whatever phone you have, take a quick video, send it over by email. Just you know, share it through email, send it to our email. We'll filter them. We'll obviously have to filter them and go through them. And the best video messages, um, instead of comments, uh, we'll just play them on the show. Or maybe we won't filter them. That'll make it even more fun. Oh no, we're hearing it for the first time. Don't give them ideas, Tim. But uh, somebody who's done it the old way was Tony Frost, and he said, a country in denial, same stories every year, no lessons learned, and same old bull from the government blaming cars for air quality. So he's talking about the, the air quality. We're sort of starting to move into the, uh, the smoky season. So uh, thanks, Tony. Tony Frost feeling a little frosty. <laughs> okay. Fifth That's hilarious, platoon. Joe. Thanks. Fifth Platoon says, love this so much. Your double act is akin to a COVID era Laurel and Hardy. However, Botchelisa is becoming the squid game of this week. Will it ever end? Fifth platoon, it has ended. Lalisa, I'm sure most of you are aware, is no longer going to be coming 
for the New Year celebration in Phuket. Her label, YG Entertainment, uh, came out with a press release yesterday saying that, yes, we're very humbled and politely said, nope, she's not going to be coming. So all those big plans that the TAT had of inviting one of the biggest stars in the world and in Thailand. So I've got 500 if you've got 1,000 because you already owe me 500 on well, our bet. Well, okay, so we had made a friendly uh, wager. It's that, not uh, that friendly. Uh, Tim said that he, both Andrea Pocelli and Lalisa will not make it. However, as of right now, Lisa is not going to make it. But if Andrea Bocelli wins, uh, sorry, comes, then uh, it's a 50-50. So. so that's 500 baht still coming my way. And then you'll have to give me 500 because Andrea Bocelli is here. Well, that's weird. Why is that weird? That's weird. That's a 50-50. You didn't pay attention to the rules. Mark Findlay, moving right along, says the dodgy glove story is a good lesson in doing due diligence before investing. Couldn't agree more, Mark. That was a story in yesterday's Thailand News Today. Right. Rob Saar Droning says, Lisa is not coming. Good, maybe the government can spend all those millions to all the starving people in Thailand. Give money and help your people. That will be a new year to remember. How come I've got that comment as well? Oh. <laughs> Oh, so I won't read that one. How dare you? Uh, well, it looks like, Rob, you've had your dreams answered. Uh, Baldwin says, forget Thailand for now. Go to countries that actually want tourists. Mm, fair enough. All right. Dimitri Katsov says, not to worry, Jay. Twinkies are full of preservatives and other unknown substance substances. So there will be absolutely no problem at all making the journey to Thailand as they have a shelf life of several decades. Just make sure to wash them down with some lovely coffee culture coffee to avoid choking yourself on the live television. I cannot promise you, Dimitri, that I will not choke on live television. What's However, a Twinkie? So I don't know what a Twinkie We were talking is. about angel cakes yesterday yes. and then I said, oh, angel... I, I've heard about Twinkies, which is like, I'm guessing an American snack. And they come, they're full of preservatives and they come in a plastic bag and apparently they can even survive an apocalypse. So um, it's just a sugary snack, I'm guessing. But yes, uh, I, I cannot promise I won't choke, but I can promise you that I will be enjoying my coffee culture coffee because they have a tasting kit, don't they, Tim? Oh, yes, and I'm glad you mentioned that, Jay. Uh, here is their tasting kit, and they've got these little cute sachets. That's right, so you can, sachet. you can taste uh, different flavors before uh, investing and buying the bigger pack. And type in the code TIGER or click the link in the description to get a 10% discount. Hey, hey, hey. That's oh. coffeeculture.asia. Very nicely packaged. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, moving on. Bob Johnson says, and this is another reference to the air quality issues in, uh, it always comes up this time of the year. Gee, come on. They've been at this for years and no change to pollution levels. Never seen one vehicle stopped. In fact, they drive right by the police every day. And if we go out onto a sock uh, road now, a sock Monterey road, they, we will see buses coming past with belching black smoke and nothing ever happens. Right. A quick question here from Anne Wick who says, can you clear this up? If I enter Phuket as one of the 46 countries quarantine free, do I need to quarantine for the first night in my hotel until a negative PCR test is returned? The answer is yes. And can I leave Phuket as soon as the negative result has been confirmed and travel to Bangkok? The answer again is yes. Or am I stuck in the sandbox for seven days? No, you are not. If you're fully vaccinated and you're for, from one of the 46 countries, 46 in, countries or territories allowed in without quarantine, yes. Uh, you have to stay there for the one night after you get the negative result, then you are free to go anywhere. You do not need to finish seven day quarantine. That is only for countries that are not on the list of 46 countries that are allowed in without quarantine. Anthony Perry says, when, you, uh, when are you going to sell the t-shirts that Tim is wearing? When was I? I was wearing a t-shirt on Monday. Maybe a tiger t-shirt, I'm not sure. No, it was this one. He's gone. What do I do? All the cameras are pointing at me. I'm so. Oh, he's back. I'm not lost one? anymore. I have now been it found. Was the t shirt. I, I, can I tell you, I bought this at Tesco. Lotus? Tesco Lotus. Lotuses? <laughs> They're not called Tesco anymore. Lotuses. Lotuses. Apostrophe. Yes. Uh, would like to buy two of them. How about a phone number to call an order? I live in America. Thank you. Anthony, uh, yeah, I got those at Lotus. So I can't really help you at all on that. Yep. And, um, yeah, they're pretty nice T-shirts. I wear them often. 
A uh, comment here from Pat Kennedy who says, Sorry, lads, but this coffee culture promotion is just too much. Taking too long to get to the news. Switching off now, and I know you couldn't give a damn. Sharpen up, for God's sake. You could be so good. Uh, to which, uh, Tim, you've already re replied, but I'd like to further emphasize and say, Well wishes, Pat. Take care, and goodbye. 2K5 has said, Jet is always sick. Might be best to keep distance at all times from him. Well, can I say, for all the many, many, many months that he's been hosting Thailand News Today, he's missed two episodes. So I think he's done pretty well. Yeah. Uh, so he's not always sick at all. Right. Paul Smith says, what you're not telling people is the fact that when they do arrive in Thailand, there's nothing open other than malls, beaches and temples. Zero nightlife and no beer in public places. Uh, Paul Smith, I don't know if you've been paying attention to anything we've been saying for the last couple of months, but we have clearly shown video footage of... Uh, you know, whether you're in Phuket, whether you're in Bangkok, of places like uh, Soi Cowboy, uh, places like Patong in Phuket, where these are the main party areas or where alcohol is available. Yes, they are closed. But, Paul, I think you're wrong. They're that, closed, sort of. Yes. A lot of people do come here for the malls and the beaches and the temples and the life and the people. And the culture. Yeah and the hills and the, all the other things, there is actually quite a lot open. Yes. Certainly, not everything is open. Certainly, the beaches are not crowded at the moment. Yeah, uh, wouldn't certainly, that be a good thing? Yeah, uh, as I keep on saying to people, you are going to see Thailand like people have not seen it for 30 years or so. Yeah. And this is the point we were making with our five-star marine yeah. who conduct charter uh, boat tours in Phuket that you're going to the islands at the moment and the water is clear and the tourists are gone and you will never see it like this again. So yeah, okay, there's a few hoops that you have to go through to get to Thailand at the moment. But if you do want to travel and if you do want to come to this country at the moment, there is still plenty of things open and you're going to see the country in a way that it's not been seen before. And dare I say, you might find people a little bit more welcoming than they might have been in the past when you get to some of those touristy areas. So uh, we get the cynicism, but you're not quite right. Yeah. Brai Udon says, don't worry about Lisa bailing out. I've had a word with my son and he's willing to fill in for her for half the money. Who do I ring? Oh, that's a great idea. Sure. So we don't really know what your son does. Maybe he plays the spoons or yeah. something. The cello. Or a cello or he might play the accordion. I think he could be a top act. Uh, we look forward to seeing a video. That's Bri right, Brian Udon. Udon. Video uh, starting next week. Looking forward to it. So the, with the Udon in the name, do you think he comes from Udon Tani? Probably. So uh, we send a video to us when we get that email to you and we look forward to seeing what your son does. Yep. I also offered to fill in for Felisa. I do the dance of a thousand tassels and I was looking forward to, uh, to presenting that to people. I'd probably be the, the starter act for Andrea Bocelli. Yeah. He could come and sing a few, you know, operatic songs, blah, 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 after people had warmly congratulated me for my dance of a thousand tassels. <laughs> I could just imagine you coming on, like being the hype man for Andrea Bocelli. It's everyone ready. <laughs> Legends. How do you hype up an opera singer? <laughs> <laughs> Very gently. Yeah, just calm him down, rather. <laughs> All right, I've got a comment here from Ozzy666, who is actually quite angry. He's used a lot of explanation marks. He goes, Jay, really? 16,000 plus 7-Elevens in Thailand? Question mark. I've told you a million times. Don't exaggerate. Oh, my God, Ozzy, I'm so scared. He's yeah. told me not to exaggerate. What am I going to do? I think the exact number is on like 12,500. So yeah. it was a very good guess, I thought. I feel like I'm being told off. Ozzy, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? I'm going to exaggerate. Another I'm going to do exactly what you told me not to do. Because oh, wow. I'm a rebel. Marshall Leo, who always likes to have a bit of a whinge, says, Korean Entertainment cancels Lisa Thailand show. I wonder if it has anything to do with Siam Bioscience bumbling the Astra COVID vaccines, which Korea needed so badly in June, July, August and September. Allegedly. Allegedly. So, uh, Marshall, I'm not sure if that's got anything to do with it and putting two and two together and making 17 doesn't really make sense. Okay, my last two comments are together from Felipe Ventura who says, Jay, if you grow a big beard, you'd be the most masculine lumberjack ever. 
thanks, uh, Felipe. I actually can't grow a beard because some someone is anti beards over here. I'm not anti beard. You can grow a beard. Sm it's just when you don't shave for an hour or so. Yeah, but then it it takes about you know a week to two weeks to grow the lumberjack beard. If you it's grow a, a way of life. If you grow a beard, you look like a terrorist. Oh. <laughs> Joe Dirt says, shut down the nightlife and stop large gatherings, but have a huge concert that might draw 50,000 people crowded together. Exclamation mark. Horror of horrors. Will people be required to wear masks at the, well, the Andrea Bocelli concert? By the way, I did go to the andreabocelli.com website last night and look at his tour dates, and there is no mention of anything happening anywhere near Thailand <laughs> between now and about uh, April next year. Oh dear. So he, I still say he's not coming. I'd like to take this moment. Andrea Bocelli, I know you're watching Tiger Bites. Please come to Thailand so I don't lose my 500 baht. You do this for me. Wait, he's not watching. If What am I saying? Andrea Bocelli doesn't <laughs> come. Andrea Bocelli is definitely not watching the show. Uh, maybe he does. He, no, he won't be watching won't the be show. Watching. <laughs> uh, okay, we fell into that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he might be listening, though. Yeah. And... Um, oh, uh, say, this is not a plug, and this is primarily by coincidence. He can actually listen to the podcast, because we're now doing a Good Morning Thailand podcast, but not a Tiger Vice podcast, but soon in the future. It, that if he doesn't turn up, it's going to be a huge loss of face for the TAT. And anybody who's had anything to do with the organization or supporting his arrival, like Jay. Yes, please come. Um, last comment for today. Smoke from Seven Offices says, Jay, can you cut down an X Max uh, a Christmas tree for me? Uh, Smoke from Seven Offices, if you become a tiger, tiger legend, then possibly. But I will definitely cut down an X Max tree and actually film it if we reach 100,000 subscribers ah. by the end of December. So this is your lumberjack. Uh, That's right. We've, right. we've got three things going on for the 100,000 subscriber bash. Question. The party, the celebration. Where are you going to find a Christmas, like a pine tree in Thailand? They're, don't they're worry not, about it. They're not, we don't sort of have pine trees It's here. what we do for the viewers, for the team, for the Tiger members. <laughs> You're going to have to find one first. We'll, we'll, we'll sort it I'll out. I'll keep you to that. Okay, well, those are all the comments for today. Yes. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. We hope you have a great Friday as well as a beautiful weekend. Um, we'll see you next week.